So um, to address this issue of you know, carbon monoxide uh, emissions and to, to try to lower the carbon monoxide emissions in cars in the United States, um, the, there, a law was passed in the 80s that said that you know, um, all cars had to be equipped with something called a catalytic converter. And a catalytic converter is a, a device that sort of looks like this. It's put um, on your exhaust train um, in your car somewhere after the engine but before the tailpipe. They'll attach this device called a catalytic converter. And um, with um, improved, the, this, the carbon monoxide emissions have dropped in the US by 60% between the years of 1990 and 2005, um, even though there's more cars on the road. And the reason why is, well, it's not just because the catalytic converters, but there's also been improved engine design, in, engine design and computerized sensors that help monitor the amount of oxygen to make sure there's plenty of oxygen um, in your uh, you know, pistons of your engine uh, and whatnot, and plus the catalytic converter. Now, the word catalytic converter um, implies that there's a catalyst, and a catalyst is a chemical substance that participates in a chemical reaction and influences its rate without undergoing a change. So the, cat the, the converter, the chemicals in the converter itself don't change, but what the chemicals are are platinum and rhodium, they're metals, and it's like a surface of platinum and rhodium, and on that surface, um, it catalyzes the combustion of carbon monoxide on up to carbon dioxide. So carbon monoxide is what we call an incomplete combustion product. Um, so in the presence of oxygen, which of course oxygen is coming out through the tailpipe with everything else, um, it will catalyze, it will allow the carbon monoxide to continue to react with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. So that limits the amount of carbon monoxide that comes out of your tailpipe. Um, that was the first type of catalytic converter. Since then, better and better catalytic, cat, excuse me, catalytic, catalytic converters, oh, that's a mouthful, um, have been designed. And also, we can convert nit nitrogen monoxide, or sometimes called nitric oxide, back to nitrogen and oxygen. And the VOCs, that's the volatile organic compounds, which would be the um, incompletely combusted um, hydrocarbons. Uh, you know, the hydrocarbon, remember, like octane. Octane has eight carbons and um, 18 hydrogens. And, um, you know, like the, sometimes if you have incomplete combustion, you'll have some of the, you know, it's normally it's C8H16, but maybe it only got broken down partially. And some of the VOCs coming out could be smaller alkanes, such as maybe methane or, you know, um, ethane, something like that. Um, those are continued to, uh, in the catalytic converter, it, it facilitates the complete combustion of those, so you break those down to the final products, which are carbon dioxide and water, okay? So the catalytic converter is going to convert NO to, back to nitrogen and oxygen, VOCs all the way, the rest of the way to carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide the rest of the way to carbon dioxide, all right? And they've just been great in helping to reduce um, pollution. Now, the thing about a catalytic converter is you may have heard, I mean, anyway, in Austin, I don't know about where you all live, but um, people have been breaking um, into cars or under cars, I should say, and ripping out the catalytic converters because you can get to it you know, from under the car. And why would somebody want to steal a catalytic converter if that's something that's going to make the environment safer, make the car um, you know, less pollution? Why would somebody you know, do that? Well, I'll tell you why people do that. And the reason why they do it is because the platinum and the rhodium are very expensive metals. And so people will take those and sell those metals, sell the catalytic converter to be taken apart, and then the metals are sold back to um, companies that buy you know, used auto parts to refabricate and um, reuse and resell the components, such as platinum, rhodium, and whatnot. So it's similar to people breaking into homes that are under construction and stealing the copper pipes, because copper has a high street value as well. All right, it's stupid. Um, it's not good for the environment, but um, you know some people don't think like that. So, uh, catalytic converter can get stolen.